for this area then. handle that myself. spotted us. Don't let them call for backup. Thou. 
Someone finish it. Persona. You're mine. They're all knocked down. That was incredible, Joker. Let's go. an easy win. Let's go, Joker. There's an end of the line. I suppose we will find out eventually. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good in. They noticed us. Joker, let's silence them. Treasure chest. Why don't we open it? Alright. I felt the difference in strength in that.
noticed us? Then we'll need to shut them up. There's a treasure chest. Come. You guys have really gotten the hang of all the fighting techniques I taught you. Hell yeah! I spend all my classes practicing these moves in my head. Okay, let's take a break. I should write something. Joker, we need to defeat them quickly! Stay the key, 
A powerful enemy. Persona! It's not wise to fight head on. Take that! An enemy turning. Follow the wind to deal major damage. Now, let us observe. There is an alarm in effect. One of my favorite duties. Get ready for this! It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Come on, man. <sighs> T 
Give it up. Now everyone. Let's get started. are gonna kill me there was so much stuff on that exam i didn't have time to study everything it probably could have managed if i had an extra week too an extra week huh the only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students oh you mean like yoshizawa san i heard the school moved her exam period it must be nice getting perks like that hey there Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh. This is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? That's right. 
When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but... What if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Uh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. It might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. No need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. like Let's turn in for the night. What's up? Mm. What? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? 
sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? What do we do? That would just make us appear even more suspicious. They got us! Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? Pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right, my kebab. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. <laughs> even with the sticky sweatiness included. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for a personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. 
jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? was delicious. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meats left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. What did you say?
What do you think? without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. <sighs> well... You certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. But there's no way that could have happened... ...without you breaking the law. I mean... ...how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know! I'll read your fortune! Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you! I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Then, I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Um...
Hey, 